perfect position there from safe. Oh, he triggers the second one as well. Phelps, no trade. Safe just too quick on the trigger. And another opportunity. He will land it all. Fala galera, beleza? Sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo. E no vídeo de hoje é os highlights, são os melhores momentos das partidas profissionais de CS. Caso você curte esse quadro aqui no canal, não se esqueça, se inscreve aqui no canal, sua inscrição é muito importante para a evolução do mesmo aqui na plataforma. Seu like mostra para o YouTube que você curte demais esse estilo de conteúdo, fechou? Deixa de enrolação e vamos para o que importa, são os melhores momentos. Bora lá! Well, a couple more kills fight. Lurking players all of them. And he made noise dropping his gun right there. And that does cost him his life. So a big pick right there from Brennan's and being patient on the play here. Now, no way has to back himself out of that corner right there. Not a chance. And Phelps just left into a 1v4. Does get overwhelmed. So a very quick. Some players looking to test him. So does Insani, but makes it look easy on the tripwire headshot right there. Quick trade though. Yeah, he's only got an MP9 as well. So you don't exactly want to be taking those long range angles, but. Any sharp shooter able to connect when the opportunity presents itself, and that will swing things back in the favor of Imperial. Though crossing against the Org won't be easy. Not to mention, it's a big crossfire on Outer. Great shot, though, from No Way, and Vinny's able to get another one. So. They don't play the cards right. They're gonna oh, spot the back turn, though. That's a massive give up right there, but they're still looking to fight right now. And oh, that's far today. And once again, the priority is gonna be toward Outer, but it seems it won't really matter necessarily whether there's an AWP or a rifle, because the rifle's getting the job done. and Safe hiding behind the red crate as well. He can't see anything at all. Exit's been hard cleared too. And then, well, the shots and trades are coming through from Imperial very nicely indeed. In towards the outer yard. Every round, these guys keep on doing it here. Decent to even aware of the lobby flank. Necessarily getting focused on with all that. You pull was the one that was getting swung and killed. And so, and, uh, it'll be an A take. So, I haven't really seen this before. At least not in the gun rounds. One for one thus far. Sunny's been able to tuck himself in front of event which is not a bad place to be though we might have a bit of a filter out from Hunt and safe he's not able to hit the collat which you assume would mean he's a dead man not the case this time around though Brennison here to help out all things out will there ever be any contact taken no I mean decent able to lurk about towards the uh, squeaky door but one quick headshot there in return not a lot of time left although oh. another kill comes through from decent D he looks down the vents. He almost has a chance on the exit. Quem aí não curte jogar aquele CS com os amigos, né? Mas chega de jogar sem skins. Vem pro CS GoFest, o site que mais te ajuda a ter sua primeira skin. Entrando pelo link na descrição, você está 100% seguro. Além de resgatar os 10% de bônus com o cupom Aleart, ganha uma caixa de graça e pega sua primeira skin para o seu inventário. Abraça essa oportunidade agora mesmo e não vacila. These teams passing each other here, still prepared, but not ready for the jumping wide swing from drop. He's clearly back and ready in the server right here. Looking he continues for... with this position. He's probably going to lose his life to save, though. The shoulder peak will work out, and the shot only connected through the wall or maybe on the leg. Either way, no way it will survive. And exit answering that call quite nicely, though. Drop will eventually fall. It's still three on three. Next kill has to be a clean one for Imperial and is. Him getting away with his life there, though, I was going to say, but uh, actually he does. And now it's just Henny solo. First spray not quite connecting cleanly onto the head, which is really what he needed. Has changed the position up a little bit, but the double swing should come through and won't even be necessary. Properly challenging them for this position. And Sani's going to take a little bit of a cheeky peek through the annex and get himself one kill, but just look at how much of the map. Imperial can work with at the moment. Oh, I didn't expect that though. Catch top, or cut off guard there by Vinny with a quick grab there. He crunches in towards lobby. Drop gonna be taken down here pretty soon as well. There's nothing you can do. It's a nice try to defend up against it, but now it just too many options for Imperial and MIBR not able to cover all of them off. Vinny. As well, the the two following the pistol, so tough to Find success there. Henny just diving towards that outer yard, though. And so, you know, Vinny kind of entering into a good state right now. Diving in, trying to jump on in towards Mini. We'll find a little bit of success mm. there from Phelps on the trade, but a lot more to crack through on the safe side. Op in heaven and a player on top of Mini, or Silo, rather. He's going to find a big kill right there, but safe has dove down into the site here. So, tough ask in the clutch. Decent not going to get the chance. Should be shooting for that eight. It, it sort of feels like it should be an eight round half here, given the way things have been going. And yeah, that's a perfect entry into the site. Holy cow, it's a perfect round almost. They have just demolished MIBR. What a, I mean, just a powerful way to end this half as well. If they can 
complete it with ease, they will. That is a certain... Okay, Nini, early info, just able to drop back down into the safety of the ramp. And Phelps is there from behind a quick flank that MIBR had no idea about. Though trades have come back quickly and then again swung back in the other direction. It's a bit of a back and forth pistol round, a real roller coaster. So let's see what Vinny's going to be able to get up to. You got this uh, absolute wild auto oh. shotty on the top of the hut. They're not quite getting the kills, but doing so much damage that the MP9 can still succeed. Another two kills from Phelps. Now make it 10, and on a bonus round here, they lock it down here. Exit now left with limited options. The Galea long range, no luck. Decent will put that one to rest. He's going to have to allow MIBR down in secret, though. Phelps is there ready and waiting, and now he's got some work to do. Drive by from safe. We'll shut him down. Well, I they could be good, but they're still losing numbers. They have the rotation so heavy on this lower bomb site, and Sonny needs this kill here, and he does find it, but oh, that's the bomb dropped right there. More aggression comes through for decent D, and Sonny has to dive down the vents. Will be cut off at the scene. Certainly feels that way. Anyway, MIBR back into the swing of things with a buy at least, though they're not really doing much swinging in this second half so far. There's going to be a nade into the smoke decently. Uh, he was sort of ready for it, thought it might have been a flash, or thought it might have been combined at least with a flash and had to turn away. So it does end up being fairly successful for MIBR, but information is there for Imperial. There wasn't much happening on outer, and so they're going to be able to stack a couple of players down toward the B bomb site. God. Phelps makes it look so easy, and no way is there for the trade. So I have to say, I think there's no way that MIBR get through this round, though Exit might still have a chance. It is one on two now, but he's so low on HP, and he's got that flank coming in behind that he's not aware of. This should be easy as you like for Henny. And that is going to be that, 13 to 4 for Imperial. What a solid display on map number one. MIBR have just been absolutely... Yeah, otherwise, it's going to be a bit of a quick dismissal for this team here. So we'll see if they can bring it to the table, although Vinny has other ideas out of the gates. First bullet, mm. and then Sonny sidelined. And you know, that's the result here after a bit of a, a breather in between these maps. You immediately get sent packing, although Brennison still has a little bit of life left in him and starts to find some nice shots to land on this B site to... At least take care of Vinny. Yeah, he's dumped, uh, diving in and out of that smoke quite nicely. And he's been able to, uh, as you say, dispatch of Vinny and actually get out alive as well. Though MIBR are making a lot of noise on this rotation. And it's not really as if Imperial were sold on that B hit. So they've still got quite a few players over toward this A side of the map. And Imperial, even if they do commit after rotating their position, uh, not going to have the easiest of times getting in. That's a good shot, though, on the Glock. And oh! Safe. Just gets deleted. That was the molly out of the picture as well. Should be picked up, though. It's the smoke, I think, that Drop ends up with in his hands. So that's all they've really got. It might be hard to uh, get into the site with. Exit hits a nice shot, though. It was onto the low HP Phelps. This push, though, from Brennison is going to be the difference maker as he's able to take down. No way, though. Decenti. Oh, he gets a little bit too eager to try to deny the bomb plant there. Turns it into a 1v1. I think it's an unwinnable round now, and I'm not sure that bomb plan's gone down early enough. It just has, by the looks of things. Sometimes the HUD time isn't necessarily always correct, but either way, Henny's got to now win the 1v1. He's got a kit at least. Is he just going to stick this? Oh, he is, and I don't know if Drop's going to make it in time. No. Nah. No way. Ooh. Just be it. That might just be GG. You just didn't win the rounds that are going to get you back into the game, and... This is going to be another one of those that seems like it's really important, kind of hanging in the balance, and it's not started well. Look at Vinny chopping up these duels right here, waiting for that flash. Look how sharp he looks, man. Holding on to this B bomb site beautifully, looking for more as well. He's hungry. And right around that corner, as soon as Exit plays a bit of a deadly game of whack-a-mole, he might go down. No quick kill coming through and making a double exit, at least able to reply with a few. He has a teammate on the other opposite side of the map being covered and he keeping his distance timing is really awkward now and all of a sudden there's a player in your spawn cutting off rotations here safe how much can you gather not a lot with the smg he goes down quickly exit is on or imperial though mibr uh, can take solace in the fact that they've still at least got an ak a player with obviously a lot of potential but they're looking to collapse in on ramp as the he an extra utility comes through no one able to fight just yet still entries starting to be found but no way this time a lot sharper on the spray, able to take care of two. And oh, it's not sure which way he wants to be. P 
peaking at any given time. He's got the timing right. He'll take the duel. Wasn't quite expecting to swing into CT there as well from Insani, but overall still a job well done. Gets the info too. And now he's going to try to re-aggress into mid, which very nearly worked out. Shot's not going to connect. It might be I have the run of things. They've got the choices. But no way on the other side of this engagement or blind. It's not a bad one, though. He'll fall off the angle just as the peaks are coming through. They're already out onto the site. And Sani's crossed. You can spot it out now, though. And the damage is done. MIBR going to struggle to win the round from here with a two-on-one ahead and 20 seconds to get that bomb down. It doesn't leave any options. Safety on the bomb plan at the very least. He's still spotted, though. Sonny, how do you isolate these duels right now with them closing in on you? Well, taking it an, an angle towards side hole could be the move right now. Sneaks his way out, but oh, he just can't escape around that corner seat. Well, have MIBR given themselves a, a little bit too much catching up to do? That will be the, the question, and that's just not going to be a peak that's ever going to work out for safe. The high-low setup is incredibly clean, but so is the take onto the B site thus far, and Phelps, out in no man's land, has at least been able to cross the site boxes. Oh, this is scary though from Phelps, committed angle, and a player already back of white box. I mean, this is going to catch him off guard here, but then Sonny's position, hunting down, there's drop, taking the contact, and he needed Sonny to strike, he waits for the flash, and that's a freebie. Great coordination, great discipline coming through from those two. But still up to decency to hold down the line, can't land the transfer, and Sonny, and again, a beautiful trade. So the site is going to be claimed eventually, but no way's already pretty close by right now, no... Snap decisions being made, and Sonny drops another one. I think No Way tried to play on the edge right there, and he got sent down. Yep, that's the one that they've been looking for. It has felt like it's been... Oh, as they take side hall here, put a little bit of pressure. No Way routes around the AWP initially, but out in the open, there's the ball oh. drop. There's two kills safe, stuck in the back of sandbags. Still kicking. Five seconds left. They're watching the smoke, though, and they all start to fall right there. MP Nate's going to dunk on the head of Penny. That'll do significant amount of damage, but they line up for no way. And then there's Henny as well to swing over the top. Doesn't quite land the second shot, which would have pretty much ended the round then and there if already the exchange hadn't done so. But a four on two is going to be difficult to come back from for MIBR. And as ever, Vinny has been a bit of a rock over on this B bomb site. He's a tough nut to crack today. That's another good headshot. Aims on point at the moment. Oh, Ooh, how about that though? <laughs> Talk about oh. lining up. That was a perfect lineup, but all of a sudden it's a winnable round here. Just a little bit of a small error, getting a little bit too aggressive, too cocky maybe. No, but they slowly contact their way forward. This is a tough angle. You're not going to clear it. There's the initial spot. Bomb ticking away, but he just can't seem to chop these duels up. Needed a kill. Meanwhile, this A setup here. Oh, it's just a beautiful bait and switch. Phelps, a little bit of a labored spray, but he contains it quickly for a double up. Playing to at least get one. Flash will pop right in front of him, though, and there's nothing he can do about that. At least the Senti playing anti-flash is able to trade, but it is starting to get a little bit out of hand on that B side, and going to have to allow the plant to go down. It'll be retake time for Imperial. Flashes up over the top. No quick movements necessarily from Imperial until that jump around the corner from Phelps opens the door up for no way, and it is now exit, waiting patiently for the peaks to come through. Imperial... I've got time to work with. I've got a defuse kit there for Henny. Now spotting out the player behind the white box. But Henny, all been handy. Really only got one shot and he won't connect it. Spray through from exit. Doesn't connect. But of course, the AK, a little bit more for MIBR in just a second. No way. Jumping up and down will lose his life. Insane. He's got himself two, but that's still not going to be enough. There's one more player on the site. Do they know? Inside oh the smoke. Phelps gets the freebie and a headshot onto the second as well. This is horror for MIBR. They feel like they're playing Phasmophobia or something, and the ghost <laughs> is just jumping out of the walls. There's another one through the wall, in fact. It's just exit, and he's found himself in another two-on-one. A great call from Imperial one more time to stack the B bomb site, and they have outthought MIBR in this half in every facet. Eight to four will be the scoreline. With the double dually setup alongside the USB and the deep range angle, this could just collapse so quickly. And in fact, as one person turns that corner, they're going to have to readjust the setup and, and rethink the idea. Mm. And Sani's also caught Vinny trying to sort of lurk his way onto the B ramp. So things have taken a turn for the worse for Imperial. Well, he's going to go up and over the top, which will disrupt quite a lot of this CT setup. 
Senti with the P250, I think it was, was really trying to make something happen, but there's just nothing coming together in this pistol at all for Imperial. Helps will chime in with a couple, but that's all that he'll and IBR on their defense right now. This is where they have to start to hold steady. And Vinny on this B side, again, working some angles right now. Already finds one opening duel here. Looking for extra, though. Oh, what a lineup in Sani. Answers back with a couple of his own right there. That's just going to chip at the health right now. There's actually two players, but ooh. They do it. Bail on the site right there. Oh, no way manages to route a cheeky kill right around that smoke. So we're equalized now. And the utility has already been dispensed, so... Still yet to plant the bomb. Now the smokes have since faded. This might be a little bit too late at the moment as the numbers just now punched in. They're chasing, they're chasing, they're running him down on the bomb site there. No protection from Decent T. He has to isolate all oh. these duels. He manages to go down with two. But sneak around one, but they're again challenging Insani as they explode through the smoke. Insani's so well prepared, but a quick 1D got him. No ways rifle and a drive by Tech 9. Chases him down. Safe panicking with utility to try and recover some lost ground. But this is a pose plant and a man advantage. Yeah, bomb plant down, nades and Molotov doing a lot of damage to the plant up, but it's not going to matter too much when you've got extra members there. Kills though, uh, still hard to come by for Imperial, they're working hard in this round. No way it makes the difference with two big trades and then a huge flank coming through from mid. will win the round and Imperial no. Takes care of that A lurk, execution in towards B and Sonny close by, that MP9. Can be deadly, but his teammate with the A1S is the first to strike here. This is impossible to crack through. They've lost too much already. They might gain the A bomb site at the very least. That's something. Mm. A little bit of a the fake has worked out. Shadow advantage, not quite enough. And it is just going to be the plant likely unless Henny can pull a 1v5 off. Well, it's important that Henny actually gets a bit of damage done here. If he can take, uh, you know, a, a gun or two away, that at least stops MIBR from building that bank back up as quickly as possible. But, hmm. Head full of steam into this B bomb site. Oh, it's Sunny. One for one. Exit safe and drop to try to close things out for MIBR in a fairly precarious situation. And they're not exactly moving too quickly through things. Triple defuse kit means anybody can get that defuse, but they don't have anything to get them in this site. It's just going to have to be good old fashioned aim duels. And for Vinny, that's a uh, pretty happy days, actually, because he doesn't really have to do too much. He's happened to dance around this box and waste time and eventually finish things off. Sorry. Oh. I think if uh, Vinny would have been a bit more patient, actually, he gets a free kill there, but decided to peek himself. And so it might be, oh, they're not out of this one just yet. This is a good aggression from Drop as well. Timing looks like it'll work out for him. Smoke's about to fade, and he's already down the bottom of ramp, which is sort of being watched by the but I'm not sure he'll expect someone oh from construction, which is exactly what is going to be the case. He was just, you know, looking in a slightly different direction, and those half seconds are really all you need at this level. The aim is so sharp. 11 to MIBR. He's looking swift as well, safe underneath the jump up. He'll get the better of Phelps, who just did not even seem to recognize that he was there. Tech 9, though, also doesn't have success. And Imperial really finding it difficult to dislodge safe. Drops in from CT spawn, and that is going to be a pretty straightforward looking round for MIBR. Though Vinny might still have something to say about it. And Sani, always on the prowl. Gets spotted out quickly, and... Doesn't take Terrifying and starting to creep his way on up towards side hall. Taps the bomb quickly, but he doesn't stick it right now. And oh no, a team Whoa. kill coming through from drop and diving through the smoke. Exit does fall quickly. It's just on the decent team with the rifle, but drop with the sidearm. He redeems himself big time. Enough time with the defuse as well, so a bit of panic setting in there, but MIBR is still close. See, the series victory is what they're really looking for. They need two on the trot. It's been tough to get two on the trot, but this is now the second round in a row where they've started with the opening pick, and it's Insani, who has actually been probably the standout for MIBR that is now out of the picture for this round. So they're going to have to do it another way. The smoke right now. That HE, I thought would maybe blast it out, but Phelps just plucks one out of the server as well. And now... I mean, just one man on the site. No way. Can't quite get him on the cross just yet. So drop still sticking about and still standing tall on this A bomb site. Has a little bit of extra support from Exit, but the execution sure to follow suit right now. They need a fight. 
and no way gives it to him. That's exactly what they're looking for. This two man advantage now nullified down to a 3v3. And they've got so much control. Side hole smoked, tossed in as well to even further help out. And oh, like ships in the night here, decent T and drop past each other. Still in the back of default. That is going to cost Exit his life, but drop now needs to stand and save this round. And Hitty, oh, he seemed for a second aware of this possibility. But he's just going to tuck it towards the back of sandbags. And there's the spot out there. Drop finally striking. Needs to find another. But he can't quite do it. And it's just safe. I actually kind of thought No Way had maybe thrown away the uh, the round, actually, for Israel by kind of just jiggling up and down this A bomb site where the stack is. And they are going to potentially fall into that trap. Util's getting tossed across. There's only uh, a couple of flashes. Smoke's going to go deep into Elevator, but it's a bit of a weird one in the end. And it's really just going to come down to the shots here from Imperial. They've got to hit their shots, really. And I think it's on to Vinny. Oh, the Mag 7's going to get past and deny the bomb plant. That is a big moment in the round. Two on two, though, as Henny is putting in work with the AWP. Can't seem to find their way out of this site here. Vinny's still sticking around, but the Glock gets whipped out, and it's low HP for safe. He gets one up shot, but he needs to find the last, and it's still just the Glock out the side arms from oh both sides, word. and safe is going to close it out. The USP reigns supreme, and we're going into extra innings here. Oh. I mean, Imperial, it just feels like they're, they're sort of choking under the pressure a little bit, you know, they have... They make it a bit more difficult for Imperial to crack on into things. Damage being done in Sani. Easy one there on to Phelps. And Vinny gets the one for one himself, but then ends up losing his life as well. This is just looking He's like... He's going to toss his Molly in towards the site anyways. So Brennan's in. Is he going to step out? He is, but oh, it doesn't matter. This crosshair right where it needed to be here. And Henny left into a challenging little 1v4. But not a lot of time left. There's one kill. But it might just be cosmetic. Another one here. And that... Does look pretty, but the bomb is too far away. And drop. He's going to put this clutch to rest. If com combined with Insani close by. I mean, battling their demons right now. Vinny's been a tough target, but a double up here. And they're in a perfect position to handle this early pressure, this early attempt. And we're right back to another, you know, start for MIVR that's quite dominant. Yeah, pretty reminiscent of the game that MIBR played against W7M on day one, where it went to overtime. It was a tough battle during regulation. They were able to sort of scrape it through. Uh, and then once they got into overtime, they definitely looked like they were going to be the team that might close things out. And get those kind of vibes again here. Decenti and Hanny creep around the corner there, but it's drop in the end that will strike. And again, I just feel like Imperial are letting slip a couple of these opportunities in the OT. There's another one from safe. Level it's not as if the, yeah, it's not as if the fights aren't, you know, maybe it's A defense. They're losing a lot of HP, no way down to one. Brennan's going to find some success in side hall. And that's going to put some question marks. I mean, again, another man advantage that you get to kick things off for on the side of MIBR, and you have a player on one HP. Yeah, it's three in a row for Imperial where they've lost the opening duel. Zero control of the ramp, and Brennan's is feeling confident. Why wouldn't you be at this point for MIVR? This is too easy. They have completely whitewashed Imperial in the second half. I'm oh, sorry, into the, into the OT, the first half of OT, 3 0. The one that's going to come back across, but oh, he's got the information, but a little bit too late. They're not going to have any control of the site, and he's lost his life now as well. Does a lot of damage. One plan. Not going to be denied by any util. In fact, there is no util right here for Imperial. So they're on a bit of a timer and oh. they've lost Phelps now as well. This round has just gone horribly wrong. I'm not sure what's really sold that fake, but it just seems like Imperial have kind of lost the lost themselves a little bit as this pressure has started to mount. You saw it happening in regulation and especially into overtime now. That is not going to be an easy one to come back from. Decenti, he's going to be able to hit one, but it's not enough. And that is that 16 to 12. It is a map victory for MIBR. And how much is that going to cost Imperial in the long term? Because initially here, uh, the thing is going to be, though, whether or not these early T rounds go well for Imperial and they can get on a bit of a roll. 100%. I do think this is going to be a good opportunity for uh, MIBR now that they're here. Now that they found themselves in a tough spot. Digging themselves out of this hole is massive. We'll see if they can uh, actually close out and complete the mission here as this pistol raging through. Got a couple of kills already found. Drop struggling to connect onto the headshot there. No way we'll be able to chase down that kill. Now exit. 
having to watch his teammates back as they enter into this bomb site on the retake exit playing behind the pillar here's the footsteps but it doesn't help him any these city boats him down just as quick so insani trying to run around this smoke jumps actually through it but enough damage done no way gonna have to start taking some risks finding some timings if they want to win this round and this is the first attempt at that from drop which you think will probably go wrong phelps was just watching that angle with the mac 10 it ends up being a one for one and there's one for ones everywhere at the moment but imperial are going to recognize that the b site is theirs for the taking and so they'll hightail their way over there a bit of a fake out but Vinny not able to land his shots he tried to fake the steps away and it worked only the shots weren't hit so it might be up might still have something to say about this one in the retake. Oh my goodness, just a little glimpse right there was enough. Brett is in looking for the last. He's not quite prepared though for Henny's further aggression. Both players already out of E-Box. Um, not quite planted in the best of positions though. I, I think if Exit, yeah, I can just go for the full stick here. No kit though, so 10 seconds on this defuse. A bit of awkwardness in it. And almost finds that kill on the flick right there. But Insani covers his teammate. And then like said, they didn't really invest too much into that round, so they'll be able to buy straight back into this one. And Phelps is confidently pushing his way through the smoke. I don't even think there was a flash there to assist him. He's going to keep holding that W key and go for more. No way, doing the same. And that is just unbridled aggression from Imperial. Right. I thought maybe Imperial would come into this third map with a little bit of uh, worry, a little bit of uh, passiveness. In a moment, though, the waterfall, the blood is going to come through from MIBR. Seems to have been dealt with pretty... Well, I was going to say pretty well so far, but now I'm starting to get a little bit worried. Phelps is low. AK is still in play. Senti will clean up Insani, but on the other side, on the site as well, it's actually kind of gone wrong. And Exit's watching for that push. He's got every possibility of winning this round now for MIBR. Senti, he's got to go for the swing and he'll make it work. And that oh no. should be the round, but he's not going to clear the bomb and the defuse is secured. An op scoped on him, but the op shot misses twice. And he still gets away with the opening duel. Finally, Henny lands something, but as a result of a couple of missed opportunities, it is going to be a one for one. It's not quite as clean from Imperial as what you'd want to be seeing if they were going to be able to wrap this one up easily. And uh, it actually certainly feels like it might. Well, perfect position there from Safe. Oh, he triggers the second one as well. Phelps, no trade. Safe just too quick on the trigger. And another opportunity, he will land it all. This time, Imperial going to slow things down. We've got a bit of a probe going on in mid. A couple of players working out through A long. It's going to be an A split, no doubt, but MIBR on the hunt for some info. Hot flash will go through. Hasn't hit either of the Ts. Trade's pretty good, though. Lots of damage onto Vinny as well. And that flash is not going to be fooling anyone. So it is just back and forth across the map at the moment. But mid or Decenti. Oh, safe oh, might have heard him spotted. there. He's definitely made a noise or been spotted or something, but it's not going to matter if the shot's not going to connect. And so now that job falls onto the shoulder of Insani, who has now given away his presence too. So Imperial oh, in a good spot. But then again, Insani's been pretty solid today so far and can't quite double down. Decent he Look at the awareness from him. On the lurk, he's turned his attention around. Still can't win the duel. Round coming through from him. 12 and 4 to kick things off is so impressive. Already some map control going over to Imperial. But the Senti walking straight. Three players in E-Box, although they do kind of mully themselves off from the rest of this execute, buying extra time. And there's that one prong, that one extra prong. 5 7, don't mind that one, but. The fact that the MP9 has been cleared out without too much difficulty will make it a little bit easier to start working your way into this site. Now it's with the safe needs another one and gets it. He's been really solid on this map so far. Certainly for standout now for MIBR, which is what you'd love if you're on the CT side. And that's an easy one for exit. Anything but now. That's a player lost in the round though. Imperial, well, they haven't quite been able to scale into the site cleanly enough. Safe is just continuing his good run and the orb singing all over the map is in the end going to be brought down. But Brennison's actually still here on the bomb side. He can deny that plan too. Decenti spotted out. Still enough bullets in the chamber here for Brennison to confidently take this fight. And it's just a dance back and forth between both players trying to find the angle, which Decenti has been able to. And 
in doing so. I mean, you're hoping for a nice little pick. I mean, that is the bomb, actually. Oh, man. That doesn't help any. Trying to drop the bomb, Henny. We'll take care of two. And safe passage towards this B-bomb site with not one but two players ahead here. It's going to be Insani that tries to charge forward, but it does look like we're going to get tied at sixes right now between these two teams as exit. He's locked behind a smoke and up against four. I don't think that's going to work out very well for him if I had to uh, say I was a betting man. And I'd be proven right, so... That was going to be on the move. And it's felt Stoolies in hand. It's going to have to hit some good shots. He does have the help of no way, but that is just not going to be quite enough until those two USB shots come through. Bombs dropped. It's lost. And he just didn't quite spot that first player crossing, and Brennison will take his head off as the second man in. No way with 28 HP is going to have to be crisp here with his shots. That's the only way you're going to win this round, and it's very difficult with players jumping around like that to hit the headshots. So MIBR will take them. Hasn't been checked so far and has got the help of No Way as well. There's the swing from safe and it isn't quite going to be enough. There we go. Imperial finally stepping up now. This is Imperial, they, they've leaned on that before. and One of those cool set pieces that you'll see from this team. They're slowly starting to crunch in. Three players are converging on this location to meet this whole T-side head on. And the utilities out here as they collapse. Decent D and Henny strike just in time. Ooh. And Brennan's in now left. This is not going to go well for MIBR. Surely not with four players on the site. How are you going to hope to get in here? This has to be an Imperial round just based on the freeze frame. But maybe I'm going to be proven wrong. Drop and Insaney able to hit their shots through the smoke. And Phelps goes down as well. That is clean from MIBR. And it should never have been as clean. Still though, Finney might have something to say about this one. He can deny the plan and the spray down as well. Huge stuff from Vinny. Not quite enough to win the round. He'll need to see whether or not Henny can get that one done. Scope hasn't been heard. Safe. Oh. Bomb plant denied again. 15 seconds left on the clock. And Henny knows where that last player is. Imperial can do no wrong. Even when really, Henny, until the point where they were kind of on the precipices of actually winning the map, that things started to go wrong. And you have to wonder whether or not that will appear here as well, based on the circumstances in this round. I'm going to say no so far. It's a pretty good hold. It's, it's a bit of a chaotic round. But Imperial seems to be getting through it okay. And that's a very cheeky, cheeky spot for Decenti to be in. I don't think that Brennison's going to be expecting that one. So the wrap around is also going to prove to be superior. He didn't see exit at Ebox. And that is going to cost him his life. But it won't matter in the end. Imperial. You've got to be pixel perfect with this one. Otherwise, your shoulder's going to be around the corner or your gun barrel or something. It's worked out, in a sense, but then again, Vinny with the re-push on a long. Oh, his timing is perfect as he catches Brennison and the next player's creeping his way into E-Box, so not able to really trade. In the meanwhile, no way's holding things down on the B-Bomb site, and there's fire all over the place. But with 26 seconds left, MIBR really have to get a bit of a wriggle on now. Exit wants to plant the bomb. He's not being given the opportunity. Look, the fire is still in his way. And eventually has to oh clear the side God. out, but he's gone down as well. No way, so sharp. Another one. It's Henny, and that's that. 13 to 9 in a blink of an eye. And Imperial do it cleanly in the second half. E aí, gostou dos melhores momentos de hoje? Não se esquece, as estatísticas estão aqui para você analisar. Pausa o vídeo caso você queira ver e acompanhar tudo certinho. Sua inscrição e seu like aqui embaixo é muito importante para a evolução do canal. Te vejo no próximo vídeo. Fui.